Okay, with this video, we're going to start programming and processing. Okay, so I begin here with a, uh, uh, a blank uh, screen processing window. I have opened the IDE and um, I'm going to uh, write my first one line program. Write ellipse. Now I'll put uh, 50, comma 50, comma 80, comma 80, close paren. Okay, there we are. And, uh, and I end a statement in processing with a semicolon. There we are, semicolon. Like, um, like doing an you're used to programming if you've ever programmed in Java uh, we end statements in Java with a semicolon okay now I run the program right here and notice I get a small window pops up with a circle in it so I said ellipse well a circle is a special case of an ellipse uh, and uh, how about these numbers what do these numbers do now, let me suggest here, let me just pull that up there, that um, you can perform experiments when you're learning how to program and learning about a programming language. I do it all the time. And for example, uh, what are 5050 and 8080? Well, suppose I make this um, 2050. And now run it. Let's see what changes in this result. So I run it. So it looks like the circle moves to the left. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So 20 controls, it looks like the X position here of the circle. Suppose I make it zero and run. What do I get? Now it looks like we're right here. Uh, it's moved all the way over um, even more. Let me put 50 back. I expect if I change this, the vertical position changes. Let's try that. Run it. Indeed, the vertical position changes. It moves up. So looks like the number on the left is measuring the position from the left-hand side what we're used to going in the positive direction is moving to the right and this number controls the okay this controls the vertical position the first number controls the horizontal position the vertical position it looks like increasing y is moving things down rather than moving things up which is normally what we're used to so if i change this to let's change it all the way up to 80 and see what happens. Now, if I'm right, the circle should move down. And I run it, and it does. It has moved down quite a bit. Okay, now let me come back. So, these first two numbers control the center of the circle. Now, since we've plotted a circle rather than an ellipse, I'm thinking these two numbers might have something to do with the diameter of the ellipse in the x direction and diameter of the ellipse in the y direction. Let's change this to 20. So if, if my suspicion is right, the circle should become skinny from left to right. Okay, let's run it. Indeed, that's what happens. But the center stays in the center here so this controls the x and y dimensions of the ellipse. Okay, well that's, uh, that's pretty good here. So that's, that's the, uh, the ellipse operation. Let me just try one more thing. Let me change this to 200 there. Uh, and uh, leave that to 80. Let's see what happens. 200. Okay, it looks like 
the X uh, diameter gets so large that it runs off the screen. So the size of this work area doesn't increase with the size of what we're drawing. It stays the same. Indeed, it, it looks, I don't know, pretty small. Maybe, maybe it's 100 by 100. Of course, we could check that. If we make this 100, then the circle should just touch the ends of that rec of that square. Let's see. No, it it looks like it does. It touches here. Maybe it doesn't quite touch there, but I'm interpreting this to see to say that this size, the dimension of this square is a hundred by a hundred approximately. I change this to a hundred and hit there. Uh, yeah, I'd say that that's pretty good. Okay. Now, so that's uh, that's the ellipse command. Let's try another one. Let's um, let's try something here. I'm going to delete this thing. Now, something new entirely. I'm going to say void, void, odd word, setup, void setup, open, close, paren, curly bracket. Now I'll go to the next line. Size, then I'll say 480, comma, 120. And then I'm going to put another semicolon. Notice I don't have a semicolon up in the first statement. Hit return, and then I'll close curly bracket right there with that. So let's just run this and see what happens. Well, in this we're getting a... Uh, here, let me close this. Here, let me try this. We're getting another rectangle. doesn't appear to be any different in size than uh, the other uh, rectangle that we got. Hmm. So, okay, let's keep going. So uh, now let's do another void, void, draw, open, close, paren, open curly bracket. Now I'll put if mouse pressed close paren, open curly bracket, fill, open close paren, and then I put a zero in there. And now I end this statement with a semicolon. Close curly bracket, else, open curly bracket, fill, open close paren, now I'll put 255 in there, another semicolon, close curly bracket, now I'm going to type ellipse, mouse x comma mouse y comma 80 um, 80 close paren and then another semicolon. And now I'm going to close curly bracket. OK. Um, I usually make a mistake even when I do this small amount of typing. Let's try running this.
and see what it does. Okay, I get a circle here, but now notice as I move my cursor through here, that thing moves. Now what happens if I press? If I press, it goes dark. Huh. The press goes dark. Okay, let me close that. Now I have size 480 by 120. Hmm. Let me try. Let me try just copying this. Copy. There. And let me close this here. Don't save. Close that. Now let me open up a new window uh, in processing. I'm looking for my processing software. Here it is. This is version 3 of processing right there. File, new, there we go. Now, let me copy this in. Now, let me try running this. Okay, I, I think this isn't doing the right thing here. I think I should be getting um, something bigger here the, with this size command. Let me just try changing this. Let me make it 480 by 480. See that size should change the, the size of that window. And it's not doing anything. So let me just try uh, one more thing here. Let me close this. Don't save. And let me try restarting processing. Quit processing. There. And restart. Here. Close that. Now, let me paste this back in and see what happens. Run. Okay. It's giving me this again. I think there's something wrong with that. And uh, I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit as to why the window I'm getting isn't uh, larger in size. Okay. So let's, uh, this would be a good place to stop.